Many of America's youth leave higher education saddled with ridiculous amounts of student debt and no community feels it harder than African American students. They are disproportionately impacted with their average student debt landing 15% higher than the national average. So why is this the case? And more importantly, how do we fix it? This Sunday, a BET News special political uh, strategist and TV pundit Angela Rye, she's going to tackle the issues of elected leaders and how to solve this one and a half trillion dollar student debt crisis. Angela joins us now. Hi, Angela. Hi, Sean. You know that number just went up to 1.6 trillion. Oh. Uh, Congresswoman Maxine Waters held a hearing yesterday in the nation's capital on this very issue, and that is why we can no longer turn a blind eye to it and, and wanted to ensure that we did this special Young, Gifted, and Broke airing on BET this Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern and Pacific. And it's just, we've found some incredible stories, um, some that are simply heart-wrenching, folks that just wanted to really fulfill that American dream, and somehow that dream has become a nightmare, Sean. Yeah, no question. Uh, we, we, I mean, it's, we see now the, the data, you extrapolate it, and you see that African Americans carrying yes. a heavier, heavier financial loan burden. There are some people on this planet that think, oh, well, the African-American community, they get affirmative action. Oh, they're getting school for free. Not the case at all. They're getting hit harder than anyone. So why is this the case? Well, yeah, so first, um, just on affirmative action, affirmative action actually benefits white women to a far greater degree than yeah. it has ever benefited any other multicultural group. And in many states, affirmative action is no longer the law of the land. Yeah. So that's definitely not the case. Finally, when you look at what happens with student loan debt, if you start at a deficit, meaning um, my ancestors came here and worked for free. Yeah. So if you came here for working for free and you never earned what you were supposed to and then you get hit with Jim Crow, mass incarceration, wage disparities that yeah. still exist to this day, you're still going to be behind. There are some students that we've heard from who go to school, their families expecting them to be the breadwinner while they're in college, yeah. that first time college graduate in the family. So they're carrying student debt just to ensure they're also helping their families make their ends to make ends meet yeah. that is an impossible situation and it makes it really tough so that is exactly why um, when you look at the statistics mm -hmm. black people coming out of school 12 years after graduation owe more than 113 percent of what they initially borrowed wow. that's the kind of numbers we're looking at yeah and we can't say that's just about financial literacy it's yeah. also about holding the lenders accountable it's a public policy challenge and has to be solved there we also talk with some great elected officials on the program about that just that well it's like having an, an anvil you know on, on, along your ankles and, and not being able to kind of get out you're finally yes. graduate you start your career and that most of your career goes to paying off the student debt. Yes, yes, and some for some people they're making a decision, Sean, about whether or not they're going to pay their student loan bill that month or their mortgage, whether or not they're going to have enough to eat, whether or not they have to get another job. And it's not just black people. There are 46 million Americans impacted by this mm -hmm. carrying $1.6 trillion in debt. We are uh, running out of time. We've got a minute, about a minute left. Something that people might not realize, all this student debt has an effect on the overall economy. The less money that people have to spend in the economy, yes. the more they're spending on, on right. these loans. Uh, businesses uh, get hit with this too. That's, it's no question about it. And so it is really in everyone's best interest for economic purposes when you think about who your consumers might be. If the people who are your target consumers are, are saddled with debt and can't go to your stores, yeah. that's a good reason for a business to want to ensure that this crisis gets resolved as well. We talk about all of that on Young, Gifted, and Broke this Sunday. The conversation is also going online using hashtag Young, Gifted, Broke. All right, Angela, we're going to be watching on BET, and it's uh, great work that you're doing. Thank, Thank you so much you for joining so much. us. Thank you. All right, watch the BET News special, Young, Gifted, and Broke. It's this Sunday at 8 on BET, and if you want to learn more, you go to BET.com. BET, proud sponsor of The Morning Blend.